All right, this is Dave B69. I can honestly tell you this: these series, so far, two of them have been an absolutely nightmare. Um, the football, I had a game that I really wanted to show, and the cartridge didn't work. And now my NBA Live 96 cartridge is not working. I know both of them have worked before because I've played with them both before. Um, I'm still trying to scratch my head and figure it out because I just played the last session was on the Genesis so it's not the console itself and I mean I have to go through and try to clean the heads and stuff and everything because it's like I've tried blowing it up to no one comes home and it uh, still isn't working so if anybody has any simple tips and stuff and everything to clean that up um, I'd be appreciative because I have really no idea um, of what's going on with those two games and why they are not working. Um, like I said, I, I do know that they were working earlier this year because I was just playing around with them um, just for the heck of it. And that's why I made sure they were part of this thing because I played with the round with them for a few minutes. So I knew they worked. But anyways. So this is NBA Live 2010. As you can see, it's I haven't played this in a long time. Apparently, I have to install the game. Um, I'll probably take a big chunk of the installation time out. Well, the installation is done, so we're booting up. I cleaned up a lot of games that I don't play that much and stuff. So. EA Sports. It's in the game. Just don't see the value of. It's like I generally only play the latest and greatest games, so I clean up my hard drive. NBA Live 10 was the last game from the NBA Live series that actually got released. Um, now it looks like we're going to go forward with the PS4 version and we will be installing, uh, we will be playing NBA Live 14 this fall. That was the cool part back then. Is it was um, it was a tournament that was happening right beforehand. And you choose the team. I don't want to play somebody horrible because I'm going to want to be Sixers. The only chance I actually have in everything is that the fun is that they really stink. So.
Radio 7 in the city of Brother Monroe as we get set for the Philadelphia 76 against the Sacramento King. Hi everybody, Mark Albert along with Steve Kerr and we are just moments away from the opening tip. Let's check out the starting lineups presented by T-Mobile. Kevin Martin is one of the league's premier scorers and gets into tonight's contest averaging 24 points per game. Mark, well, anytime you have a player like this who can finish shots so well in the lane, it makes things difficult for the defense. You've got to collapse on him, you've got to help, but then you know, he can also pass the ball to the perimeter for open looks. Pause, looking for the ball, delivery to Martin, controlled by down there. Green looking for the open man. The Sixers fresh on the board. Pause with a block shot. That was a three-point attempt. And Graham made a sensational pass. Udrick walking it up. Normally I don't like this setting. Or, uh, I just don't really feel like changing it. Rebound by Igor Adel. The pass to Brand. And it's good. Udrich walks to the front court. with the rejection. Here's no Sioni. Holloway able to reach for him. And Ray Green off the mark. Martin with a crossover. Exactly what they wanted, Mark. A nice high percentage shot, but they could not convert. Pass to Brand. Thompson with the block. The 76ers will get to inbound. Young has checked in for the first time. That pass intercepted. Udrick puts the speed on. And Andre Iguodala called for the foul. And Bino Udrin at the line. He's an 81% free throw shooter. Court. 
the ball is loose. The Kings will get it back. Hawks trying to break free. Off balance shot. And then on Utrecht misses. Grand in possession. The pass to Iguodala. Yes, that's a 13-3 run for the 76ers. What a great start for the home team, Mark. If this keeps up, things could really get out of hand. Martin coming off the screen. And gets the friendly roll. It's a beautiful shot there. Sixers up by eight. Opus Nocioni. Yes. Two second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Holiday with the bounce pass. And the field goal. Brand is two for two from the field. Utrecht comes across. Loses control. Holiday with the steal. Thanks to Iguodala. Stay your fingers a little casual on that play. Absolutely. Marvin, a mistake like that. I mean, that's an easy play, and yet he ends up throwing the ball to the guy in the sixth row. Philadelphia has been hitting from downtown throughout the game. Yeah, I think one of the keys to this game, Marvin, has been the perimeter shooting as you take a look at some of the players who have gotten involved here. That's what makes a team so difficult to cover. You've got multiple three-point shooters on a team. It really opens up the floor and allows you to run your offense. surprising first quarter here tonight really stepping up for the team so far he was terrific in that first quarter particularly on the glass he owned the boards and i think the defense is going to have to put a body on so that's one of the few bad possessions yeah. we've seen from this class i wanted to they do that they solid with their execution but the problem they got to be careful stuff. now is not the time to lose your focus i mean i just did just plain old like the plain old move maneuvers with the stick no, and purposely by like and rebounded by without my like wanting of my own put me back court. I mean, obviously I don't want to do that. Holiday on quick winnings from downtown. Delivery to Martin. Young on the rebound. by Martin. Iguodala from deep in the corner, off the mark from downtown. Martin moving it across. Here's Nocioli. Holiday made a hustle it down. The pass to Iguodala. And Samuel down there with a nice throw. Well, I think they've left their guard down defensively here. They've got to tighten things up and get back in this game. Nocioni wants the ball. Here's the screen. Hall split the shot. Uh, some of the other problems that the uh, game suffered from it was That's very minor stuff. It just seemed like you were gliding sometimes on the floor. He fires from downtown. Hall's able to reach for it. So basically, instead of running across the floor, you're kind of like gliding. Not natural. Here's Udrick, and that is his first field goal. So it doesn't give you that true game feel look, and that was always a problem. Young gets it back, and out the ground with a pretty pass. Udrick moving to the front court. Delivery to Martin. Nocioni looking to get open. Beto Udrick is able to score. 
Two and a half minutes remaining in the second quarter. 76ers up by nine. Young on a quick release. And there's another. Utrecht knocks it across. And rejected. They're going to pick up 94 feet here, Mark. Everybody on a man trying to get themselves back into this game. Down there with an excellent look. And there's another. Well, I'm shocked that we're not seeing better defense here on this club. Nobody is up contesting that shot. Looks like he's trying to size her up here off the dribble. Utrecht with the bounce back. Kevin Martin able to hit. He's been very successful, but... How does Kevin Martin develop a shot like that? Yeah, it's interesting. He kind of leans to the left and he pulls the ball across his body from the right hand side. Hey, he's been very effective with it. Rodriguez has checked in for the first time at Thaddeus Young to the line. He's 73% at the line. You gotta do is you gotta shoot and you gotta release it in that area. Rodriguez walking it up. A minute and a half remaining in the second. 76ers up by 14. Me personally, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next version. Mark, it's important to execute offensively, but got to finish plays. I'm not gonna shoot from out there with them. The pass to Iguodala. This fires on the three. Rodriguez walks to the front court. Oh, with the crossover. Green for the block shot. And the bucket. Smart move there, Mark. When you're down, it's important to really be aggressive. Get something attacking towards the rim in the paint. And that might jumpstart this club. Young's been on fire tonight. Well, we're going to get another look at this shot here, Marv. You can see just how confident he is with his offensive game. He's had another good night. Garcia has checked in for the first time. Going for three. Brand able to chase it down. is two for three from the field. Very quick release there, Mark, on that mid-range jumper. Nice offensive rhythm. Garcia with the bounce pass. Well, do you wonder about their focus here in the first half? Unable to finish an easy shot there. Yo, off the balance. Well, they shot the ball extremely well. I think that's 
that's a case of just solid offensive execution. They developed a nice rhythm there in the first half, moved the ball well, and really had their game clicking. El Sione bringing it across. That was a three-point attack, and then Udre not able to hit from downtown. Pass to Dallenbear. Iguodala on the quick release, rebound by Mark. El Sione with the bounce pass. And fouled by Dallenbear. That was a terrific job, Mark, of completing the play even after drawing contact. And Kevin Martin at the line, first time tonight. Steve, in the past you have talked about the unorthodox shooting style of Kevin Martin. Yeah, he sort of pulls the ball out of his right pocket, Mark. It's an interesting uh, technique, but what he is consistent with is his release point. And because of that, he's been able to be very consistent with that shot of range. Iguodala, hold on. What the bucket? Brand is three for three from the field. Udrick to the front court. And Jason Thompson, not able to hit. Well, I am very impressed with this club defensively. They are getting after it and really challenging every shot. Down there, shook it up, bunch out by Mark. Very ill-advised shot, Mark, but really it's a result of a very poor offensive execution on that possession. Thompson accelerated with the move. I like what they're doing here, Mark. They're not settling for outside jumpers. They're trying to get back into this ball game with an aggressive attacking offense. Down there, with the bounce pass. The view is still unable to knock it down. Well, that's an encouraging sign, Mark. They're behind, but they're challenging shots. Defense like that will get them back into this ballgame. El Sione trying to break free. Jumpers. And Toronto Holiday off the ball. 
two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Another defensive stop. You can feel the momentum changing a little bit here, Mark. Spencer Hawks falls the foul and he will shoot too. And here we have a look 
Monica tonight, performer of the game, brought to you by Sprite. Boy, he's been really good tonight, Marv. The player of the game so far, I agree. If you take a look at some of the replays, just scoring at will, he's playing with so much confidence. He's got an amazing offensive repertoire and scored in so many different ways. He had it all working tonight. This is both shots. Puts it up. Thompson able to succeed with that box out. Looks to the post. And he finishes with some flair. Oh, this team has shown really solid execution all night. That's why they have the lead. They're setting good screens, making good sharp cuts to the basket, and they're taking high percentage shots. Delivery to Iguodala. Fires. Oh, a good shot. Stay with Rich the Park. These are all critical possessions. Down there, they want to succeed with that box out. Well, that's solid defense there. That's all you want to do is challenge every single shot. This fourth point, Tony for down by three. Udrick comes across. What a pass. Oh, and the scores got a great look. This has been a clinic offensively, Mark, and running those sets beautifully, spacing the floor, getting good shots, getting the ball inside. We're showing it all tonight. From downtown with a clutch bucket. Really good offensive execution there, Mark. They needed a bucket in the worst way, and they get the ball with their little two guy. Looking for Patterson. The pass to Martin. Oh, this is controlling the ball here. And it's stuck. This game is cut down in this sequence. The ball is not loose. So that puts Philadelphia over the foul. Thompson at the line for the first time. Two for two at the line, trying to put this game out of reach. It's a four-point advantage. Pass to Iguodala. Udrick moving it across. Good luck. And that ends the game. It could not be too soon for them as they had an awesome performance shooting the ball tonight. Anyways, so that was NBA Live 10. Um, let me know what you think of the, um, if you're going to get um, NBA Live 10. Right, NBA Live 14. We're going to go with NBA 2K14. Should be interesting. Um, we'll compare the, the next video is NBA Live, I mean, not NBA Live, NBA 2K13. So we'll be able to take a look at it. Um, honestly, it's like graphically and presentationally, 2K13 is better. But from what they showed at E3 and stuff, it, it looks a lot better in my opinion, NBA Live 14, so it's got a difficult choice, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks, and good night.